Can the Mandelbrot set help us understand the cosmos? The Mandelbrot set, a mathematical object of incredible beauty and complexity that one can explore for many hours and still see only a small portion of it. But is it also a guide to the fundamental forces of physics and a map of the evolution of the cosmos? I first asked that question more than 25 years ago, and my quest for answers continues to this day, because the Mandelbrot set I explore is populated with stars, planets, atoms, and subatomic particles, as well as the familiar forms others see. I had a few phone conversations with Benoit Mandelbrot shortly after my discovery of how to make these forms appear, which were very encouraging but convinced me that I had a lot to learn before I could present my findings in a rigorous way. Recent work by FQXI director Max Tegmark suggests that the universe is more than just mathematically sensible and that the laws of physics actually spring from pure mathematics. The idea that abstract mathematical forms are archetypes whose projections are seen in the real world goes back at least as far as Plato. However, Plato could never have imagined the wild variety of mathematical objects first charted over the last 50 years, nor could he have foreseen how these objects might shape or dictate natural law. With computers, we can now discern the properties of mathematical objects in great detail, and this has inspired amazing new physics. The Exceptionally Simple Theory of Everything by FQXI member Garrett Lisi is based on E8, the largest exceptional group, and it is a wonderful example of how math can lead to physics. But the Mandelbrot set also suggests a theory of everything, and I began examining it over a quarter century ago. The Mandelbrot set gives profound insights into how the cosmos unfolds over the grand span of time, from its inception to its ending, but its answers are cryptic and quizzical. Much of the work you will see here is still unpublished and unfinished. I hope to publish papers detailing my results with full rigor in pre-spacetime journal over the coming months and work in collaboration with colleagues within a year. But this video is a window on my research in progress, a preview of the longer videos to come, and an introduction to a side of the Mandelbrot set that few have ever seen. Let me show you why the Mandelbrot set can help us understand the cosmos. That's all I have time for in this segment, but I hope you'll join me next time as I explain what is the Mandelbrot set in more detail and tell about what I discovered by finding a butterfly and what its significance might be to physics.